In today's video, you will learn how to set up CDN for your WordPress site's images even without registering to any kind of CDN services. So if you want to know how to speed up your WordPress site for free using CDN without any kind of registration, then watch this tutorial from beginning till the end. And with that said, let's get started with this tutorial. So I am using a subdomain for the sake of this example. But before I'm going to do anything in here, I will just show you something for the sake of this tutorial so that you can see the difference. Okay? So I am now going to pull up this or this specific post in here. Since I am going to set up CDN for my WordPress images, so I will just give you an example. I'll just show you the difference. I'm going to copy the image location and here we go. So the uh, location of this image is inside the web hosting service that I use. So after uh, setting up the CDN, so this will be changed. So let's go back to the dashboard of my WordPress site. Here we go. To set up CDN for our WordPress images, let's head over to our plugin area and let's click on add new. So we will be adding new plugin to uh, set up CDN services for our WordPress image. Search for the plugin and the name of the plugin is Flying Images. Okay, here we go. The, the name of the plugin is Flying Images by WP Speed Matters. So install it click on activate and let's go to the settings of this plugin okay here we go this is the one so click on settings you can also go to the settings of the plugin by uh, going under settings and click flying images so in here first we need to enable lazy loading for our website's image so here we go of course I don't want to enable lazy loading on my website's logo so I will copy the image location of this logo and I'll paste it in here. Okay, that's it. And then click save. And then click on CDN. And here we go. You need to make sure that this, this one is checked in here. So click save and click on, let's check for responsiveness. That's it. There is no need for us to do anything in here. Go to compression and then make sure that under compression this one is checked but if you are already using any kind of plugin that compresses images there is no need for you to enable this one but for me I need I want to enable this one because my images will load even faster if I'm going to check this one I just deleted some plugins which has the same feature as this one because I like this one and make sure that the compression quality is 100% okay so click save again and then under whip, uh, whip P, there is nothing to do in here. So let's go back. Now, now that the plugin is already set up completely and it's already configured. So let's go to our to the front page of our website. Here we go. So let's refresh or let's close this one and let's reopen again our website to see if it loads fast. Okay, I think it loads fast. And now let's open up this one on a different tab. And here we go. Here is now the location of your image. As what you can see, there is already a big difference. Your image is already being serviced with cdn.statistically.io. That's how easy it is for you to set up CDN for your WordPress images even without registration. Okay, there's we did not do any kind of registration and it, that's free for unlimited images. So um, let's open up the uh, wordpress.org so that we can see this plugin in the repository. And then let's click plugin because there's something I want to show you. Here we go. This is the one. So it's what you can see in here. It's free unlimited CDN. So that's the good thing about this one. It's free, unlimited CDN for your images, okay? That's one of the best features of this plugin. So that's how easy it is for you to set up CDN service or CDN for your WordPress images. So if you found this video helpful or wonderful, please give us a like, subscribe, and share this with others. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video. Bye-bye.